Good afternoon. Welcome to my broadcast. Um, this is an ongoing series of series. <laughs> try it again. An ongoing series of talks, and I'll get to that in a moment. Let me start by introducing myself. If you don't know who I am and what I'm about, my name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. Helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine, and. I do these talks every day called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. This is number 353 in a row. Um, and this one actually is going to be taken from my book. So I'll mention my book now and I'll talk about more of the chapter I'm going to talk about, which is actually in the title so you can get a sense of that. But this is my book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover. See, I've got my name on the front, a picture on the back. That's me. Um, and chapter six in here, which I'm going to talk, read a bit from, is about relationship being a spiritual practice. Or as I'll call the title of this talk, Relationship as a Spiritual Practice. Ta-da! Surprise. And I want to take this deep. That's why I did say, let's go deep. I mean, I make my titles pretty, pretty self-explanatory, so that's why I want to take it today. So I want to read something from this chapter because, well, let me start before I get to that. Yesterday I did a Facebook Live because it was about the Royal Wedding, about partnership and about the level of elevation that can happen when you come together in partnership. And this, in a way, is an extension of that, but going a little bit deeper. So let me first read this opening paragraph from Chapter 6 in my book, which is about relationship as a spiritual practice. And I say, and, and I also get to the counterpoint as well. So just hang a second. So just like meditation, prayer, and other spiritual practices, your relationship is a powerful practice to, to deepen in your loving and open up your heart, your connection to spirit and to your life. And that's where I want to go with this. So I'm going to read you more from the chapter because I want to, I want to speak spontaneously. By the way, this is a Sunday broadcast. I'm kind of calling it Spiritual Sunday, as it were. So that's why it's about spiritual type principle of relationship. Um, and I'll get back to the book in a moment. So, and I want to start this or bring it in. For most people on the planet, not you, but most people on the planet, relationship is just somewhere to hang out, is one extreme. And the other level is somewhere just to get great sex. And somewhere in between is where most people live in their relationships. Which, for most people, is all well and good. Um, for me, it's not, personally. For all of my clients, it's not. And maybe for you, either. I know most of my community, my audience, are more, um, I'm going to say more awake or more woke, uh, <laughs> aware people. So the context of relationship is more than just a chance for two people to come together and, and not boots, as it were. You know? And so I want to speak to the spiritual quality of that. And, and I don't mean, like, praying together. That's a whole other level of that which some people can do and meditating together stuff like that i'm thinking about the opportunity in the relationship to come together both to grow together in your way of life and the way of living but also to grow through any issues and challenges you might have before you got there i've said i mean this is number 353 in a, in a series that talks about love and relationships so there's stuff about love and relationships to talk about 352 of them so far and they're all different or different spins and perspectives on different topics on the same theme so in a way, this is a distillation of the idea that when you're in a relationship with somebody, you have the, and this is also this is also transcends romantic relationship. It's actually true with any relationship, but I want to use a romantic relationship as the platform to put this on. But being together in a relationship is a great place to work on your own stuff, in the sense that your buttons are going to get pushed. Oh, I didn't tell you that before, did I? Mm, yes. In a relationship with somebody else, 90%, 99% of every relationship is going to rub you the wrong way at some point. And when it's with somebody intimate, your loved one, your primary partner, that can happen more frequently. So you've got two choices. Actually, you've got three choices. Um, one choice is to ignore it and put up with it. Another choice is to get upset and, and blame the other person. Actually, there's more than one, more than three. There's four at least. Third option is you can just get up and leave. And I did that in the past, so I know from how, how past experience that was a waste of time. Or four, you can actually do something about it. And I don't mean do something about it like make the other person wrong, because that was, that was my second point. Um, what I mean is that when you're in a relationship and stuff comes up, you could face that demon, that challenge, that opportunity, and work through it. And if you're in a conscious, healthy relationship, your partner can support you in that. Again, spiritual practice. So... I'm going to give you, and this is only one of a few, I'm thinking, I think there's a few more coming through, but these um, suggestions are what I'm calling under the umbrella of spiritual relationship or a relationship that has spiritual um, 
quality in the components to it. Now, hopefully, this is what you want to have in your relationship because my feeling is that there's, no, there's almost no point being in a relationship unless you, if you, unless you tend to grow in that relationship. Now, that can be very matter of fact, like, oh, can you grow a family together? That's one way of doing it. But I'm speaking about how you can grow as a person and grow to become more heart-centered, more compassionate, caring, selfless, more collaborative, more cooperative, more involved and invested in the betterment of everybody around you. That isn't a bad list having a relationship, by the way. It's just not a bad list of a way of living life as well. So a relationship can actually um, accelerate those experiences, can actually bring those more um, present for you. That's the way of putting it, present for you. And the spiritual component is taking this on for your own self. See, the thing is, it's easy to be in a relationship and presume that anything going wrong is because of your partner, not because of you. That's not a very spiritual viewpoint. It's also, not to, it's also not on the other stream to put yourself on the spot where you blame yourself because it's not working out right. I don't mean that at all. But when stuff comes up for you, maybe you feel pressured, maybe you feel frustrated, maybe you feel um, stretched beyond your comfort zones, then it's a good chance to look at your own stuff and your own self and consider what you want to do about that. And again, there are options you can choose, as I mentioned before. And I'm talking about the ones where you go deeper, not when you go out. So I'm not talking about bailing. It's about taking this on and going deeper in your own, um, that's what we're looking for, your own, ex own awareness, resolution, transformation, experience, those sort of things. Relationship, primarily romantic, intimate relationship, is a place where big things can happen for you. Obviously, life changes can happen where you can be grow together, you can have family and all these different things. But I'm speaking about the inner journey, the inner opportunity. And I feel personally that relationships are absolutely about your own personal growth. And I'm not a fan, personally, as you may have guessed, relationships where you're just there to hang out with each other, just get comfortable, or you just don't want to be, with, be alone, so you want to be in a relationship. Some people choose a relationship to avoid being alone. And that's not what I recommend. I highly recommend relationships where you choose consciously come together with a partner, when you're both on this journey, ideally that overlaps and aligns, so you can grow together. And so the spiritual piece is not about, again, not about praying, meditating, which you can do together if you want to. It's about the journey of becoming more whole, more aware, and more caring about yourself and your partner. And the opportunity to go into a spiritual perspective is not to bypass the human experience. In fact, it's to include the human experience, emotional components, the mental blocks you may come up with. Because when you're in a relationship with somebody else, and this is the thing people don't tell you in, in, <laughs> in high school, when you're in a relationship with somebody else, there's a whole other person in that relationship with you. Duh. And that's going to cause things to come up. It's natural. There's this friction thing. Um, I've mentioned before in another talk about something else slightly different. What's about the man boys last week? That one of my favorite, favorite quotes from a friend of mine, Lisa Nichols, is that relationships are often gifts wrapped in sandpaper. And that analogy or that metaphor is to indicate that when you're with somebody else, they're going to start rubbing on you, hence I did that a bit earlier. And that friction can either cause you pain or cause you to reflect and grow. That's basically the main two choices you have. You can try ignoring it, but the pain's going to keep coming up, and you can only go numb for so long. So when that comes up, it's like, what do I do with that? And that's the opportunity to grow. And I look at this, I guess what I'm really saying is that a spiritual relationship is one where you grow. And, and I, may, I mean consciousness grow, as in growing your awareness and the way of being. That choice is something I recommend if you meet somebody new. Yeah. When you meet somebody new that you're looking to date or you feel a connection, you want to you explore a relationship with them, put this on the table right at the beginning. Yeah, be that bold. Put on the table that you're looking for a relationship where you as a partnership will grow with each other and, I mean, and from a place of love. I don't want to, I, <laughs> I just realized he's like, yeah, let's just make some, pick somebody you're going to get really upset with all the time. That's not what I mean at all. But I mean that you can choose to be in a place where the loving is the lubricant, the fuel to help you grow and expand and become a better human being. Yes, human being. Spiritual being, having a human experience is kind of the perspective I come from. So, and I'm realizing that I've taken, again, this, this, again, my book, chapter six in this book about spiritual relationship. This is coming deeper than I did in the book because First of all, that book was written five years ago, and so I've, my work has evolved since then. 
it's, but I'm realizing that it's still very fundamental for me that relationships are not just someone to hang out with. It's not just someone to put your last name together with them and become a married couple. It's about the chance to explore, grow, and deepen in who you are together. There's something coming through, and it'll, you know, bear with me a second. Um, there's, there's a piece I feel like happened. This happens, by the way. Lately, this happened again. It, it went away for a while, but it's come back again. Is that I notice when I do these talks, I feel like this um, birthing of something else that comes through as an idea. So if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. <laughs> but I hope you get the point of this. I mean, I want to keep this fairly succinct and to the point, but I really want to encourage you to choose relationships that are for your betterment, for your, your, your improvement, and for your wholeness. Um, oh, there's a piece. Conscious spiritual relationship is one where the two of you get together and you're looking at how you can give versus what you can get. That's a very big delineator too. For a lot of people being in a relationship is what they can get out of it. So I can get sex from my partner, I can feel taken care of, I don't have to do anything, I can be um, comfortable. Versus I can give comfort, I can give sex, but I can give support to my partner in their, dream, their dreams, their visions, their intentions. And I can all give my best self and become better myself doing that. Which actually puts you in the place where you're going to be growing to be a better partner. And that also is the, conscious, the consciousness I'm talking about in a spiritual, spiritually based healthy relationship. That was the piece I was waiting for. Okay. I think that's it. Just a reminder, a nudge. And again, if you want, oh, by the way, if you want to get my book, um, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, you can go to 50 Ways to Love, love, love Your Lover dot com, as in the 50 50 Ways to Love Your Lover. Or go to my website, barryselby.com, forward slash book, if you want to get the book. Um, if you want to get help in this area, because I should say in the area of relationship in general, because this is my focus, I do offer a complimentary clarity conversation on my website, which is barryselby.com, as I said. If you click on the Let's Chat button in the navigation bar, it's the left-hand side of the menu, you can sign up for a quick, for a complimentary clarity conversation, a 30-minute discovery session, my gift to you. Um, if you have any thoughts and comments about this broadcast, please put them in the comments below and I'll respond afterwards whether you've seen this on Facebook. This will also be on YouTube later on, so you can do it on YouTube if you're watching it there. Um, all my broadcasts are available on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. Also on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, and the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. And they also end up on my website, again, barryselby.com, third time lucky, um, under video blog. And again, if you help reach out, if you have questions about this one, please put them below. If you know anybody should watch this, please share it with them. And that's it. I'm back in tomorrow for another topic. That'll be number 354. It keeps getting up there. I think 400. I think I'm trying to decide if one year 365 is the limit or 400 is going to be the limit or maybe it's going to be just another milestone. These talks keep coming, so I'm going to keep sharing. Thanks for being with me. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.